it's time to go over some calculated tricks. I'm going to start with some problems that are not in the packet because I don't want to confuse you with when to use um, f of x in the calculator and when to use standard form. So, and I know I'm throwing a lot of vocabulary at you, so let me just get to get right to it. If your equation is solved for y equals mx plus b form, meaning slope intercept form, what we will do is, let me show you here, new document, one, and I know you may not have a calculator at home, so just follow along and then you can practice when you get to school. No, do not want to save. Go to add a graph. Okay, so we need some equations. Let's make up some. Y equals 2x minus 1 and Y equals 1 fourth X plus 3. So, uh, and let's make this negative one-fourth x plus three. Let's see what happens. Okay, now this says f of x, but this says y. And it's been a while, but we have said it and said it and uh, grafted and grafted, and I know you might have forgotten, but y is the same as f of x. So if you need to rewrite these using f of x so that you know how to type it in, go for it. And remember, 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 this number here just represents how many equations you have typed in. And since we hit one new document and then said, no, don't save, we started all the way over. So everything that we've already done, it's been erased. And I know that because it says 1.1. If it was still there, it would be like 1.2 or 2.1 or, or something of that sort. Not 1.1. That's starting over. Here we go. Type it in. So I'm going to type in 2x2. Make sure you get your x from down here. Don't use that. That's multiplication. Okay. 2x minus 1. Press Enter it graphs it for you. Now that means you have to go back and get that bar to reappear. So press tab and it comes back. Um, one other thing, if you had of just pressed the down arrow instead of pressing enter, so you have to press tab again, if you had a just pressed down, it would automatically graph it for you just like it did and it keeps the bar up. Okay, so now let's type in negative 1 over 4x plus 3. So use this negative here. This is your negative. This over here is minus. So be very careful. So negative, make sure you can still see the screen. And the negative is there. For the fraction, you may have to press the number, the button next to 9. It gives you the screen, and using that, fraction form will help you enter it in correctly. So put the 1 at the top, put the 4 at the bottom. Now be careful because I just put X, but it's not in the right spot. I put it at the bottom. It needs to be on the side or in the top, not at the bottom. So let me delete that. And I don't know if you realize it or not, but the cursor is still with the 4, so let's scoot it over. And now the line becomes big. Now you can finish typing in the equations plus 3. All right, so press enter and we have our system and our solution is where they cross. How do we figure out what that is without um, getting it wrong? <laughs> um, menu 6, 4. What does that stand for? Well first, menu is our action button, menu. And now let's go down to analyze graph because we want to analyze it to find the intersection. Menu 6, 4. Now on 
this screen. A couple of things going on. I have this lower bound with a question mark, and I have this dotted line with my um, the cursor, or you can call it the hand pointing, whatever. You want to, and the lines are blinking because it's waiting for you to tell it what to do. You want to move this cursor on the left side of the intersection. You can press this and it inches over little by little, or you can use the touchpad and quickly drag it over just by rubbing your finger on this. All you have to do is rub real light. It's just like a laptop. So, and it doesn't have to be really close to it. You can click here, or you can click way over there on the left. Okay? Um, and the little message that just popped up, since it popped up, I'll talk about it. It says intersection. It's explaining what's going on. So, um, you can play around with this. I'm going to click over here because it's close to it. Click in the middle, right there in that button there, in the middle of the touchpad. Now, you notice it says upper bound now. So go to the right side, and the only way, um, not the only way, but the easiest way to do it is, is to rub your hand or finger, excuse me, across like that until you see this yellow intersection and the dot appear, and click the middle again, click. And there's the answer, and it's not pretty. <laughs> uh, 1.78 comma 2.56. If you want to move it because... In some problems, it's all it's on top of other stuff, and you can't really see it. So let me show you something. So, um, lightly drag, rub, touch. Um, use your finger to put the hand that's open over the point. So um, let it hover over it, and that just means it's sit on top of it. And now we're going to touch the middle of the touchpad, click and hold it, and then the hand will close. Again, let me show that again. So, move your cursor to where it is on top of this point, and the hands are open. See? Now watch, when you put your finger down on the middle of this touchpad and you press it, you click it, and hold it, don't release, hold it, it's going to close. Watch. Now that the hands are closed, when you release it, it's ready to be moved. So just move it to where you can really see it. And click again to release it. So you can definitely see that it is 1.78 comma 2.56. Alright, that is how you graph in the calculator using um, function, meaning it's already solved for y. Um, and find the intersection where they cross. Now what I want to talk about is question number three in the packet because I want to compare I want to compare the two equations. Let me go ahead and stop the video. I got someone coming and I'll start the next video on this page.